Hey everyone, it's Diane. I'm going to do a little bit of a craft session today with these really fun journals. Um, in case you missed it, my introductory video. I've got things a little bit here and a little bit there. These are the books that I'm making. This is one I'm making for myself for various reasons, which I've already talked about. And <coughs> this one will be available for sale. This, they're both eclectic. This one has more of a music theme to it. And this one is just eclectic and it does have a few music elements in it just because I would use them in any journal anyway. So I'm gonna put these back and we'll look at what we have going on here. These are the first two signatures. Uh, uh, this is the first signature of the music book, and this is the first of the almanac. Um, so I'm going to just kind of catch up on what I've done so far. I think you saw this, although I didn't explain how I did it, and I said I would, but I already did it in this one, so I might just make another one and not attach it to a page and just save it for future use where you can see it. But we're not going to do that today. On the back side, this is wallpaper. And on the back side of the wallpaper, I just collaged various digitals that I had in my stash that were scraps or just pieces I hadn't used. This is a copy that I made of a, a really old composition book, paperback composition book. And I just made a digital copy of it and I still had it, had this much of it in my stash. And this is a copy I made of a ledger book that I have. And the others are digitals from other sets, not mine, um, that were scraps. This is a decal that I've had for quite a long time in my stash. Came in a box of things from the flea market and I actually used it. I had, I just soaked it for seconds in a little dish of water and it came off the backing and I tried to glue it on with acetate, but it turns out, I mean acetate with Fabri-Tac, but it turns out that the acetate in, or acetone, in the uh, glue dissolved the black. And I just, all of a sudden, you know, I was pressing it down and all of a sudden the black was all over my hands and not on there. So I had to peel it up real quick and uh, try again. And this time I think I used this one. Uh, scotch tacky glue and glued it down and it's it glued down very nicely so that's what that is and then on the back I wanted to do something fun with some of my vintage things that I have that are just waiting for me to do something with them and I thought an, an eclectic journal is perfect so this is a uh, rotary the old-fashioned rotary phone dial label but it's plastic uh, I'm pretty sure the old ones were pa paper. <clears throat> so I don't know if this was for a public phone or what, you know, for heavy duty. But um, I glued it to tan cardstock and um, inked it and sewed around it. And then I added this digital piece. And this is a label, Huey and Philip Company Wholesale. It's just a little sticker. And I put that on some the tan cardstock also. And we did this in another video. So this is where I am tucking that. And I just did a little collage there. This is something we're going to do in this video and this. And so I have I still have quite a bit to do in here. Oh, I wanted to show you this because I was so pleased. Remember I showed you that round pocket that I cut out with this die from Elizabeth Craft Designs. It's called Pocket Set Chevron Circle 2054. Um, so it's this round piece and then this piece and then the tag is the smaller round piece. But I, I stamped it with, I think this is a Prima stamp, but I am not sure. I can't say for sure. Maybe it's Bow Bunny. I don't know. I've had it for a really long time. And it's I love it because it's got various pieces of music. It's got this little label-y, really fancy label and this little seal. 
the word Baltimore and some type down here. Looks like a type that would be at the bottom of a music sheet. So I stamped that on this, on the big round part, and then I took the half part and did a second generation stamp. I didn't re-ink, I just pressed it down lightly. I wanted to get this, and it got it very lightly and sporadically, and I love it. And then I stamped my Beethoven and Mozart signature stamps on top of it, and I love the way it looks. That pale blue with the brown inking and the black ink around the edges, I think it looks really pretty. And this is uh, another stamp that I have that doesn't work so well anymore, but I like that shadowy look that it gives. I stamped my French horn on the tag. So this is this is glued down from here down to the bottom of the tag or the stamp so things don't slide down, but I put a couple of pieces in there and that in there and this in there. So I'll make another circle stamp with the other for the other journal, but I don't know what background stamp I'll use. I really like that one, but I don't know if I'll use it in that because it's not a music themed journal. Why is this here? I don't know why that paper clip is there. Might have been clipping things together till I glued them. So I just did some collage on that and made this pocket. You saw this on a video and we're going to hopefully do another one of those. I've got a lot of it done. So uh, I think that's it. Let's just get into working on this. So you can see I got this done. One thing I didn't do was this piece of file folder goes down. I don't, I can't feel how far down it goes, but I did not glue it to the back of this, like I, like the bottom of it to this, like I did on this one, I forgot to. So this might get caught as you try to put it in, but you just kind of have to hold the pocket open and slide it in and it does fit in. And this is an old stamp that I have from Stampington and Company. And this just opens up for writing. And I did the exact same, see there, it gets stuck on that. Um, I did the same thing. I stamp with the same stamp, which I don't even know what stamp set it came in. <laughs> I have to find it when I uh, put things away. I'll have to find out where that stamp goes. But I used the same things to make that. And I just put a few pieces in the pocket. So I got started on this part. I got a lot of prep work done. And it's a good thing because they're very noisy out there today. One thing I did was I got a, a letter ready, and I believe it's the letter seven, the number, I mean, the number seven, and I don't know what happened to it. Oh, wait, is this it? Yeah, I put things up here that are prepped. If I can pick it up off of my table, I've got it right here. Yep. Um, so this is another copy I made of a different composition book. I had bought several of them at the flea market years ago. And everything else is a digital, but this is wrapping paper. I just wanted an eclectic bunch of stuff. So there's noise outside but it's not as noisy as it was while I was doing my prep. Like yesterday, I didn't have time to make a video and there was nobody here doing work outside. Oh, that's gonna make a gluey mess there. It's not the kind of glue I can just rub off. So you will be able to see. Oh, some of that is underneath the uh, acetate, so hopefully that's going to dry clear. Maybe it won't look so bad. I thought it was seeping out from under, but it's just in the clear part. Okay, so that's all I need to do here. 
So this can be journaled on right here. There's even space, you know, white space to journal on, but I would probably just leave it to be something pretty to look at. Now, this was my offbeat vintage ephemera. For this one, I found this piece of a card. That's all I had was this portion of a card that came in a box of stuff. I love the boxes of stuff at flea markets. Um, it was cut off of the main card, and it has this little compass taped on. It's so cute. North, south, east, west, every dog loves his own home best. And then it has different types of homes. And it was taped on, and I just uh, had to re-glue the tape a little bit and left it. And then I sewed, her, sewed it to the tan cardstock. And this is a digital piece from, I, I'll have to link it. I'm looking for the box. I don't know where I put it. Um, I have a little box that has all of these pieces in it. And it's grungy vintage signs. Hmm. Should be right here. It's probably here, you know, right where I can lay my eyes on it if I would open my eyes. But anyway, you'll see more of these. This is part of it too. So I thought that was a fun tuck spot, one of those fun eclectic things. And I'll have to make another little booklet thing to put inside it, but I'm not prepped to do that today. Um, on the ins Oh, that's what the paper clip was for. I had this clip there. Now I don't know what I did with my paper clip. <laughs> I'll stick this one on, although it's a little small. I'll stick that on for now. So this is a uh, negative bag. When you would send your your canister of film to get it developed, you get your pictures back, and then you'd have this envelope with your negatives in it. And I, I'm just going to paper clip it right there and not do anything to it. But I included this tag, which was made from the inside cover of a paperback music book. I loved this, and I'll do something to that, and two flashcards. So I haven't done anything to the inserts yet uh, in this bag. So here I have another negative bag, and I put in a music flashcard because I have a lot of them. And then this was in my stash. I pulled out a whole bunch of homemade, of ready-made ephemera that I've made and haven't used yet and I thought I could put this in here so I did a little collage on the front I'm using quite a few of these vintage stencils I just inked it and sewed around it and then glued it down and this is from a set of vintage coffee can digitals I just love the look of vintage cans I guess they're not all coffee cans there are cans. I wonder if there's two two different digitals in here, but they're um, advertising signs and coffee cans. So that goes in here. And this gets clipped here. And this is done. Well, except for doing the inserts. So I'm gonna set these two pages aside. And then I have a music page in this book, but for this journal, I'm using a page from the Almanac. So I think I'm going to leave this as it is. And uh, let's see. Oh, it goes this way. So this has lines you can write on. Tip it sideways and write on it but I wanted to include this little card above it so you can write on that. And this is just a piece of copy dyed scrapbook paper, a scrap. And I'm just going to put that there. And I had this cut already from some dyed paper. So I think 
I'll just ink a little more around the edge so it doesn't blend in as much. This is actually cut with a sand pool die. There is several sizes and shapes of this paper that looks like it's been torn, but it's a die cut. I like when I get to make eclectic journals and I just get into my stash of ready-made stuff like these things were already cut and I just get to use them. doesn't really matter. I, I mean, I want it to go with the look, which is, what did I call it the other day? Pretty, pretty some, or cute something grungy. with this stuff because there's a lot of skinny stuff here to glue I'm going to use my barely arts because it has the tiniest nozzle and I could use either side but I think I like the dark side So hopefully I was able to edit all that gluing out. I'm going to look for a number. Okay. Just a fun number to glue on this. Grungy. Oh, they're starting up the machinery again. I'm going to have to do a video on the weekend because uh, if if you don't watch Angela Schrod, the traveling crafter, you should go watch her video from it's today, but uh, you won't see this video today. So it's um, Friday and she is introducing a hop, a cooperative hop between 30 crafters and I am one of them and it begins on April 1st. And I didn't see the email that she sent me with the schedule. <laughs> so I'd know which day. I kept watching for the email and I didn't see it. So I hunted for it. You know, I had to type in Angela and look for it. And I just did that today. And lo and behold, I'm the second one scheduled for the hop. And I panicked. But I think I know what I'm going to do. <laughs> I think it's all okay now. So on mine, I did it on the outside of this folio because I like that. And this says, welcome to spring. And I did not like the picture here. It was a bunch of turkeys in silhouette. And so I covered it with this vintage bridge score sheet and then decorated it. And this, I just wanted to add some decoration. Um, I had to rub some glue off here because I made a mistake in gluing the flowers wrong in the wrong, facing the wrong way. So this color ran as I rubbed the ink off, but it's my journal, so I'll put up with it. But on this one, I did it on the inside because I liked this spread. So I think that's all I need to do. So we can move on. Now for the next page, it is a double-sided scrapbook paper. And I did use a music flash card. And I already did this part because it required the sewing machine. This is a antique lace 
collar piece and I've been hoarding it. But look at me using it. So I already did all of that. And so here I want to add a decoration. So let's do that next. I used on mine, I want to show you how I am doing things with the music theme and then also doing them in just a, an eclectic style. So I used my stamp that has a lot of the classical composers' names on it, and I stamped it on this vellum uh, grid paper. So instead of that, I am going to use this because I love this stamp. Agent for all kinds of fine rubber stamps. Perfect, right? Now, I don't know if I'll be able to, I think I'll just have to stamp it and then not do anything with it because for a while because it'll have to take time to glue or to dry on this. So I'm just going to stamp it. First, I'm going to cut it. And so I think I'll cut it here, here, and here because I want to cut the border off, the border that doesn't have a grid. You can't even see the grid that much. It's very pale, but I know it's there. And then before we stamp, I'm going to find an element because I didn't do this part. I have this cut from an old greeting card here. So I need to find something for this one. Yep, that'll fit on there, that, and that will be glued in here. I think, I think I didn't get any little flower pieces out. Let me see. I think they're all larger ones. look for something fun and funky. doesn't have to be flowers. I like to use fun and funky. I'm sorry I didn't have this prepped ahead of time. I have this little piece of a ruler cut from scrapbook paper and this sort of a gauge. It's a digital I think I could use that. That would be fun. All right, so I'm going to just clip these to the page, and then I'll have to set this aside to dry. Can't pick things up off this table. Okay. And I'll... S it goes this way. I'll still have something to do on this side of the page. It's almost lunchtime, so I will let this dry through lunch and maybe beyond. Maybe I won't try to glue it on. I think I put too much ink on there. Oh, that looks good. Maybe I'll just leave it set till tomorrow. So anyway, as I was saying about the hop, I realized that my part, I have to have my video ready to go on Tuesday morning, and today's Friday. So I'm going to have to video it, and I think I'll have to do it tomorrow, Saturday, because they won't be working outside. I'm going to put this in a safe place that I will not forget. I'm going to put it in this little drawer. It's safe. Now for this, I just want to do a little stamp down here. I'll show you what I did on mine. I stamped a little bar of music and then cut this or glued this little piece that I cut from scrapbook paper. And I got some stamps ready. I 
did not did I not? I was thinking this, but I thought I had two to choose from. But I guess not, so I'll use this. I picked something to glue there, but I'm not seeing it here. Maybe these are, I think these were just laying on my table for no good reason, but these are vintage German scrap pieces. These are older than the ones that I got more recently. But I don't know. I do like, this is um, horses pulling a fire, fire engine back in the day. I think I'll use that. That's fun and funky. Well, maybe not fun if your house is on fire. What else would I use this for? So that's just a decoration with no function. And here's where we get to do this pocket. So I did create the card. I finished the card that we started in the other in the video where I did this. And then I just put this Quizmo card in there for now. I'll have to do something to that. Um, so here I have my pocket. I did the sewing. And I used a sheet of music for children called Oh Susanna. I remember singing that in school. That was written by Stephen Foster, and Stephen Foster, I'm not, I'm not sure he was, I'm not sure where he was born. Was it Kentucky? But he went to school right here in Athens. Well, I live in Sarah, but I used to live in Athens, and it's just down the road from me. That's where I went to the library and the post office yesterday. And there's this. Uh, where the library is, this old brick building, is where the Tioga Point School used to be. And that's where Stephen Foster went to school. He did write a lot of music that would not be considered politically correct. But, oh, Susanna, I think is fine. Well, I would normally um, glue stuff on here before I glued the pocket down, but that doesn't matter. I was talking and not thinking. So this is just a leftover piece of an embroidery digital border. And I'm, it was just a scrap that I had. So I'm gonna glue that there. And I have my stencil all ready to be glued there. And this label stamp, it's the same one I used on my journal. Actually empty nowadays. So I started ordering it from Amazon. So you can get it from Amazon and you can get it at the other craft stores. I just don't have craft stores locally. I have to travel half an hour to get to one. So um, let me show you the bottle. I just filled this, but I probably put the bottle away. Oh, here it is. This is what it looks like. There's also Fabrifix, which I think works the same and might be even cheaper. So that's what I go through a lot. And then I bought a Sugar Bell 
frosting bottle from Amazon and it comes with the tips so that's why I like it because those Fabri-Tac tips are terrible but this is fine and but it has a hole in it so it's going to dry up so then you have to have a uh, rust resistant or rust proof pin and I got these and then I put I could just put this in and it would be fine but see some people have dangles on theirs I had one once and it just got in my way and I got these silicone knitting needle caps they come in different colors and different sizes all in one bag I got it got them at Hobby Lobby and um, Amazon and I keep a couple extras because this might disappear somewhere and then I just grab another one and put it on there until I find it so it comes in handy to have a couple extras. All right, that was a free, that was a freebie. Now for the card that goes inside, I just used a piece of cardstock. This has music printed on it. This is very old organ music, pretty, pretty fragile. And I had put some modeling paste on it in the shape of an argyle pattern. And so I glued a doily and this piece on and sewed this on while well, I sewed around the edges here. I do need to ink the back. But right now, I'm just going to put a little collage on here. So for this one, we had this little boy playing the violin because it's for the music journal. And I stamped Have a Beautiful Day on this digital label. So I'm going to stamp the same stamp on here, Have a Beautiful Day. don't know where that stamp came from it looks like a Stampin' Up stamp but I have little words in this I took them right out of the sets they came in so they're handy when I want a little word and I have this this was cut from a book that you could make copies of like I think a, a Dover book sort of thing or maybe just a reproduction catalog I don't remember this has been in my stash for a while so I thought I would put that there because it looks kind of cool and then have her holding this little label that says have a beautiful day. But there's all this empty space up here. So then I thought I'd have this other hand pointing at the label. I want you to be able to see some of her fingers. So I'm tipping that. Okay, so I think that's a fun and funky piece. Just gonna put glue on her thumb because this will be attached to that. And then on the backs of her fingers. And now I can glue it down as one piece. One thing that's good about the Fabri-Tac as opposed to this one is um, because it is silicone or acetate based instead of water based, it doesn't wrinkle the paper. So that to me is the biggest plus. But obviously you can't use it for everything. It didn't work on those decals. It dissolved the paint. Where am I time wise? Okay. I don't have much to delete. I have a little bit to delete from this video, which will give me a little bit more time. I only go to 45 minutes because I seem to have problems uploading longer videos. And I actually prefer a video that's under an hour anyway to watch.
So I'll just have to add my stamped piece here and I'll have to find a Quizmo card or something. Wait, I've got these right here. I have a yellow Quizmo card. for something to put in there. I have this envelope, Prosperity Coin Bank. Holds over $5 in dimes. Oh, that's why it's sealed. Um, there's a slit there, which I don't think it's open. Let me just see. I'm not going to open it if it's not. Yeah, it's not open, so you'd have to slit that, and then you can put your dimes in there. So I'm going to just leave it the way it is and slip it right in here. And I want to put something else that's vintage in there. I don't know if I can do this. I don't know if that'll flatten enough. No, it's too stiff. That's pretty cool. It's a milk bottle cap. I'll have to use that for something sometime. But I have a coaster here. If it's, it might be too big. Let me try this one. I think it's okay. This game, this is shorter, uh, narrower than other pages, so. It's not like it'll stick outside of the book, but this is coming apart. So I think um, it's waxed, so it won't stay if I glue, but maybe I'll, I'll have to think about that. I might sew around it and stick it in, or I might find something else to put in there. Otherwise, we're kind of done there. is a music sheet. And I have to find the... Oh, this is it. There it is, the one I'm working on. I've done some prep work on this too. I have my number ready. I just have to ink it. And this one, I have a little plastic treble cleft that I sewed on there. But this isn't the music book, so I'm going to put something else on there. this little piece of a handkerchief or a table mat or something. I used a piece of it here and this is the last piece of it. And I want those little embroidered pieces to show if I can. So if I position it like that, you can see it through the holes. But it just means we have all this nice tatting around the edges. And this one hangs down here. And so it's going to be different, but This is how we make adjustments when we're, like I'm copying what I'm doing in one journal into the next, but making a lot of differences because of the type of journal it is and whatever elements I'm working with.
And I did sew this to the page, so I'll have to wait for the glue to dry. And what I have to, to add to it is this little Tim Holtz number. I've had these for a long time, and I always forget to use them. Maybe I'm not supposed to peel it. I'm just going to glue it. I think I'll put it on this side so it's not hanging off because it is white on the back. I think I'll do it like that. Well, I don't know. I like it on the card more, so we'll do it like that. that will have to be sewn on. And that's all I've done on that. So I think that's all I have prepped. But we got quite a bit done today. I'm thinking of using some of these negatives that I've saved to add to, to something in these journals. So that'll be fun. Well, I hope that you enjoyed this rather sort of organized video, but not. <laughs> Seems like it's been a little disjointed, even though I had done a lot of prep work. So I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope that you'll come back to see the next videos, and especially um, my video on Tuesday, which will be part of Angela's um, I can't remember. Give a, give a scrap. That's what it's called. Give a scrap. Hop. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Yes, come back on Tuesday to watch that. And then you'll, I'll have a link to Angela's, um, I'll, I'll link her video that she posted today. And, and you'll see all the other people that are involved in the hop. So anyway, thank you so much for coming today. And I'll see you soon. Have a creative day. Bye-bye.